an insta lock raise on Davis. All right. So, welcome to the USA Valorant team. Uh, I I'm one of your casters, uh, Isaiah Downey, and we have Bree also co-casting with me. Hello. <laughs> uh, we're kind of we new to this, so we can just jump right into it, though. So yeah, exactly. one thing that I, like is interesting for me to see compared to my past seasons in like collegiate Valorant is Vipers on both teams. I mean, Vipers a really strong agent on so, Bind. Don't get me wrong, but I just so, haven't seen it. Yeah. So what's actually been happening in at least the the newest championship of Valorant is that Viper was also picked on both teams for the championship um on bind both by loud and optic so maybe they're trying to find a little bit of tactics from the pros here mm -hmm. um something that's actually very interesting if you guys have caught into our previous streams from before seeing usa davis on Rays is well it's kind of kind of interesting uh, my it's, bad. it's new it's new yeah, he's usually only plays two things. Not trying to call him out here or anything, but he usually, <laughs> he usually pay, plays a uh, jet and chamber. So yeah. seeing him on raise in an actual match is actually pretty, pretty cool, actually. Um, another interesting thing is the duelist difference here. Exactly. So, yeah. We, so we, we see, see a, a, a race. Oh, we... What? Oh, there's a Phoenix and Arena? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was pointing out. About. <laughs> now, a Phoenix and Arena on Bind is kind of interesting. I like the Phoenix pick. The Arena pick, I'm always a little bit iffy about. So, But I do like the two Fade picks. However, I expect Fade to be picked on all of these maps. Because, I mean, Reina, well... Arena can definitely work if it's in the hands of the right person. So I don't oh, want to discount course. them quite yet. Of course. But it, it's interesting. Especially not running a raise on Bind. Oh, yeah. So it seems we have like a B hit going on here. We have oh, nice little pick first from pick. from Cipher there actually. Haunt went out, scanned Viper, scanned the Cipher, and didn't really get the Viper yet. Seems like they're stagnant. Have two people on the flank. Mando getting, it up, Mando getting two picks, and Nerve is down. also getting a pick. I think the correct move here is to not get on site. However, they're kind of pushing out. Yeah, yeah I mean you uh, know both players are on this site. It's oh yeah. TV too. There you go. There goes the TP. And here comes the rotate. So they're all going to meet each other at the same time, it seems. However, no smokes are going to be on A. And Cypher also has nothing set up on A. So, got to see how yeah, this Brush, goes. I mean, but Brush is fully aware that they rotated at least. Oh, 100%. So so it's like going to be a down. quick retake. Let's see how they're going to play this out. They're both going to play from long. Probably going to play with the KJ Mollies as usual. Turret set up on flank. Clearing out the zone. It's vulnerable, but he's not really going to do anything with it. So he marked the Viper. Good pick! Great headshot. They still have those mollies on bomb. I like the haunt. Cypher kind of nervous here. I mean, there's very little you could do in this situation. Maybe tap and try and draw one of them out. It's a little bit too late. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna die to the mollies. Last player Good first round. Oh, unfortunate for <laughs> Fade for dying, in the, for dying to the bomb. However, that was not uh, that bad of a first round. Nah, I mean, it was a little shaky at first, but I mean, as long yeah. as they're able to clean it up in the end. Yeah, they, um, USA actually came back from that first pick that Cypher had, which was actually a a pretty good pick, I'll give him that. No more charges left. Um, however, that yes. little flank that they did, Mando kind of cleaned up there and clutched up for, the, for USA there. At least we're looking, we're looking at what looks like another B hit here. Majority of players going for Hookah, so I'm going Standing along. ahead. Got USA ran for the lineups as usual. If you know, if you've been watching the stream, you know that's what he does. Looks like they four spot here actually with the Stinger. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was only him. Looks like uh, USA Speed's about to. Here. Yep, there he goes. Oh, nice pick from, very from bold Speed. And look at that, they're on site. Spike planted. 5v2. Last player standing. I think for USA here, the B side's going to be significantly harder for them to take. I mean, against a Viper and a Cypher. Definitely. So if they're able to get it this quickly, then. Definitely. The Phoenix. Me, makes me a little nervous. Yeah, um, 
the thing is here is that the Phoenix is probably just trying to wait out uh, this bomb so everybody leaves so he can die to the bomb. But it looks like Tyler. Oh no, Mando is actually from Mando song. Crazy with the bulldog. Got a flawless coming into the second round. Yeah, he's crazy with the bulldog. I'm so, interested to see how uh, Brush's Viper buys here now. I see an Odin on the other team. Looks like somebody was thinking about an Odin on the third round. However, I see a Stinger and Light Shields from the Fade. Did the Fade buy last round? I don't think she did. I don't believe so. I believe Viper is the only one that bought. I see that this isn't really a full buy. It's like another light buy. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to be light buying, but I mean, USA is bonusing with every single weapon they had second round. Exactly. So maybe this is the right move. Got a Sova drone coming out. Phoenix didn't get tagged, but they knew he was there. Oh no, he did get tagged. Good kill from Tyler. Or USA ran, my bad. Nice little tether. Ooh, Reyna getting the pick on speed. Spike planted. Uh, unfortunate the uh, the cat couldn't get the cypher trip, but doesn't matter. Another amazing Goodness. USA seems to be just taking over the sites. Looks like their uh, attacking power is a little bit too strong. However, now we get to see what uh, their team Actual does with guns real guns. Like. <laughs> Except for a Guardian coming out from their Phoenix. Phoenix isn't really having the best time right now. However, he's been light buying every single round, so maybe he's good with the, the one taps. We still have three members of USA's team bonusing this round still as well. Still bonusing. That's crazy to see, but it's also like really good for USA. I mean, if things turn around and Russia starts really stomping, then they'll have the economy back up a couple times. Like good pick from Nerve on the fade. That's huge for control. USA. And Tyler, or Rand, <laughs> Rand getting the pick on Phoenix and Nerve getting the pick on Reyna. They're just demolishing them. A very planted. slow viper flank coming along. Oh. Now. We're bunched up around short. That could mean last player standing. But Tyler with the He's got a 1v4 clit clutch and the Sova drone got him. Best case scenario is to save your gun. And that looks like exactly what he's doing. Or she, they. I don't know what they are. <laughs> it could be a robot for all we know. Don't think going in TP. Okay, how <laughs> I was about to say, I don't <laughs> think going in TP is the best option for you. It doesn't look like South Alabama's hunting either. No, I don't know. Was... This this is a scary attacking half coming from them though. I mean, four rounds already on the board. Oh yeah. It'll be I... interesting what kind of response Russia can make to their kind of oh, because oh, yeah. they seem to be quite strong and really I mean this battling for space on the A side doesn't seem to be benefiting them right now. Oh no. However, maybe they're just better on attacking. Maybe they're not the, the best on defense. Yeah. I've seen some teams like that. However, USA Nerve with a 6-0. Love to see it. <laughs> Love to see a really good fade. However, fade's just good, period. And sometimes fade makes the, the player better. Fade is an incredible character. God. She is, <laughs> she is so... She's so strong on attack and defense. Her intel, she basically is what Sky and Omen are. Like, they're, that's, they're like love child, basically. I really, I really, really love the team comp being able to pair both Sova and Fade together. I, I, I can definitely see where Fade can have some of some shortcomings. Sova ult picking off Viper. The B site completely free now. But I don't think Tyler knows that there's one in. There's, yeah, he has a he has a kill here. Oh, nice Ooh, shot. shot! That's a good pick from um. I, I'm sorry, I'm a horrible caster. I forgot what team Seven this deuce. is. <laughs> <Russia>. <laughs> From Seven Deuce Abuse. One thing that I am noticing about our defenders is they're not really alternating their setups on defense at all. Pretty much no. every round you start off with your Viper and your Cypher. There comes the pick from, from Speed. And yeah, you're right. They're... They're playing the same thing every round, and it kind of seems that USA is picking up on this a little bit. Ooh, Reyna. Uh, Unfortunate from her. Nice 
Now it's up to Phoenix and Cypher to clutch up the round. Spike planted. A bulldog and a and a phantom it looks like, yeah. Last no util. Uh oh. Dave is getting the uh Okay. Well, there goes seven days again. It's going up heaven, but nerves already holding it. Good Viper smoke. Looks like he doesn't really know what to do anymore. Oh. Mando's looking to take the fight now. Ooh, he gets, he gets it, it. yeah. Coming up well 5 0 for South Alabama now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things, things aren't really looking uh too hot for this other team here. I mean, again, I've, I've, I've seen bigger comebacks, so I've Oh, no. <laughs> I've seen huge comebacks. I've seen 12 0 comebacks. Looks like we're getting a full buy out of South Alabama, except for Rand holding onto that sheriff. Hmm. It's looking like a light oh, bike. Oh nope, there, there he goes. There comes the uh there comes the Phantom for USA Rand. I Looks mean, like our their, their economy is ginormous at this point. Oh yeah. I mean, you're gonna like... get players maxing out soon. Oh yeah. Especially Mando on seventy six hundred. Oh yeah. Looks like they're gonna go B again. Yep, of course the cat gets the uh gets the cypher trip up in Puka. Oh. oh now we're seeing the raise. Yeah, oh. here we come. Let's see how many he can get. Hey, he only gets one, Good. but one's all you need with a result. I mean, that Cypher is an important pick for taking one that you say. Oh, it's a huge pick. Oh! Ooh, goodness, Ooh, speed! Good, speed yes. hitting the triple! And now they know the Reyna's on the flank. All she has is classic. Not much she can do here. But maybe she can actually get a pick. She's got a double hole. Okay, but it no, doesn't look do. like it. Is that a 4K for speed? Oh, it was a 4K. Good Don't night. really know who stole the ace. I think it was um, I think it was USA Nerve who ended up taking it. Yeah, and look at that. Speed's actually passing Nerve on the leaderboard. Nerve but Nerve's still, still strong. Oh, Good love miss. to see it. We have a Viper ult here along with a um, a Fate ult. And yet again, Cipher doing the same oh, setup as nice. before. This goes here. Even though it's has been working, and that Fate is kind of just destroying everything that he sets up. I don't really know what his plan here is, but. Maybe they'll forget about it one round. I'm wondering when we're gonna see those ults coming out other than our oh. raise ult. Both vipers, there we go. There we go. Love to see it. Cause you know they're gonna hit the site. There's it seems like uh the pattern here is two two. Nice little fade eye coming from the enemy team and looks like Barely speed can't get that TP. <laughs> Looks like they're rotating away from that. Uh oh, Rain is free for a pick. Oh, but Mando's too fast. Mando closes it down. Fade might be good. Oh, good ult from Fade. Mark three. Very good ult here from Fade. Looks like Cypher is also Sorry, rotating bro. back Ooh. towards A. Good little pick from the Phoenix here. Good tether. Like Unfortunate. Good 7 HP. But he gets the kill. That looks like USA is a little bit stagnant. Except for Tyler. Tyler's peeking in as always. <laughs> it's a 3v3. This is very winnable for Brescia here. Oh, it definitely is. It looks like they're rotating back to the Viper ults. It's kind of kind of ballsy, not going to lie. And it looks like they're going to have to stick it here. Because they won't have enough time left. to rotate back to A. Yeah, but Nerf does hey, have that fatal. That fatal that's out. coming in and pushes Viper basically right off the site. And this cat's going to hunt him down. Play and it's going to let... Karumi get the kill. Spike that planted. 3v3 turned into a 2v3. All oh, from one old. Oh, now it's a 2v1. Nice shot, oh, unfortunate that the fade scan gets in there. It's a double Phoenix flash. Oh, nice shot by USA Karumi. Of Karumi. They have a very <laughs> nice hold sitting their KJ directly to guard though, and just playing oh, yeah. crossfire. Yes. Yeah, from what I've seen from USA and their practices, uh, Bind's actually their best map so far. This is their this is their home map. This is the map they usually want to go for. Um, and obviously it's showing 0-7, you know, in favor of USA with Let's two with scout. two players on the team that has yes. yet to <laughs> die a single time. I have heard Speed talk quite a bit how much they have worked on their bind and how strong their bind is. I really hope this translates over to their next map on Breeze. Well. Well, let's, let's hope so. Oh, it looks let's like we're go. running a default here. It's not 
It's not. It doesn't look quite like a default because usually. A little heavier just, pressure towards B. Yeah. Oh, Phoenix, good job. Look at that speed getting the Phoenix ult out and making him basically waste an ultimate. And it looks like they're leaning towards B, but little do they know their team has yet to rotate at all. Got a tether, looks like a tether is about to come out here from from Nerve. Sova darts out, doesn't pick up on anyone, makes it look like the map is empty. <laughs> you should run. You got KJ ult coming out. KJ ult's gonna be strong. We have Davis playing for the flank. And they get the picks. Goodness. I mean, if you look at Davis's health right now, anything you can bring out is impressive. Oh, yeah. Enemy remaining. There goes Incredible USA Rand. Yes, sir. And he could not get the raise pick. Unfortunate, Cypher. We go to 0-8. Yeah, things are, uh, things are looking really, really good for USA. I mean, they're really pulling forward. They're proving to us that Bind is their strong map, and this is a map you immediately want to ban if you're going against South Alabama. Oh, I expect this map to be banned a lot from now on. <laughs> Especially whenever you have your entire team just basically demolishing the other team. Oh, it's not a carry or anything like that. Dead. It's just incredible teamwork with this entire team on both sides. Okay. Looks like they're hitting A this time, but uh, Viper and Fade are a little bit slow to showers, it looks like. Viper wall coming out on A. Fade's trying to take that space in showers. We got Mando and Nerd. Oh, uh oh, 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 oh. Oh, Woo, that was a little bit close for comfort. Ooh. Mando has his teammates back, thankfully. Oh, yeah. I can tell you what, though, that uh, Viper on the other team isn't very happy right now. Very quickly took the space on the play. Last player standing. Uh oh. Spike planted. Rosa ult from. <laughs> And he gets the pick. Nice Close little flick there. Out. We're looking at 9 0 now for South Alabama. Yeah, things. Ooh, I really hope that, uh. Oh, uh, yeah, here comes the timeout from the other team. This was kind of expected, not gonna lie. So, what do you, what do you think could change right now? What's uh, the outcome of the game? Well, first off, they gotta change what they're doing. The, mm -hmm. they, they can't be doing the same thing every round. They've did it nine rounds in a row. USA knows that, so they're going to keep playing as if they're going to do that. All they mm -hmm. need to do is just switch people around. It th it will throw off USA, and it might get them those three wins for that 9-3 curse. That's yeah. what I think should happen. And I, I mean, you'll have typically you'll have some hesitancies going to a B site when you know that there is a Cypher and a Viper there. But when the team is generally playing in the same angles, you see players like Speed knowing exactly which zone to target when they're entering. So you exactly. see Speed immediately going towards that back backside, all the players on South Alabama being very careful of elbow in its entirety. And we're also seeing that uh, players are now getting a little bit more hesitant to flank. Their flanks are a lot slower. They're being watched a little bit more. So maybe you sh should kind of consider more coordinated retakes taking a retake together as an entire team versus these segmented retakes. But we'll see two players holding sight and then maybe one or two players going in individually for that retake. Exactly. And something I actually just noticed right now whenever you brought up Flank, yeah. what is that cypher trip? That's... That is an, an interesting... That's an cypher interesting trip. cypher trip. <laughs> I, I will be honest with you with that one. Oh, Phoenix just trying to get the little kill here. Looks like they're trying to save here. It does, it does. I mean, those are the rounds you really need to try some, something different. Oh, yeah. Experiment to see where South Alabama's weak but spot are. It's not a save, though, because Rana has an Odin. Has an Odin? I, uh. Oh, nice tether. Oh, and missed just barely. That's unfortunate. Player standing. All right, Rana. Yep. Ult clutch Odin. up. This is yeah. your ace. Oh, unfortunate. Just barely. Mando wins those. I'm sorry, Rana. Yeah. Just... USA Mando always wins those. I wouldn't say always, actually, but that's just a personal <laughs> experience. However, good round coming from USA. It looks like everybody on their team has finally died at least once. Hey, we take those, though. We take those, yeah. In the <laughs> words of Sun Tzu, we take those. I think he said that. I don't know if somebody said that. <laughs> this is a he just needed there. to humble nerve a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yes, it just goes here. I still see it the looks... exact same things coming out from the team. This is... 
No, oh, good pick. Oh, ah, uh, unfortunate. He that was a very good spot there. Just narrowly he was, timed them. He should have paid a, played a little bit safe. We have Viper on the flank, but this KJ turret's gonna get him. So now they know somebody's on the flank, but looks like Viper's gonna. Oh, is she still gonna go the same way? I'd like to talk about that Viper ult a little bit. That's very interesting. Kind of covering the entirety of short and keeping that bomb really kind of tucked into the ult. Oh yeah. Uh, it looks like it really just makes them actually push through and lose all that decay, that HP to the decay. Mando picks off the other Viper. Molly coming out. Nice tether, great tether from Nerve. That spray coming in from the rain, I just kind of revealed her location there. Oh, Incredible. really good fade oh, eye. Goodness. Great fade eye. And we're going 11 and 0 right now. The question I'm thinking here now. Oh, looks like Rand's pulling out the operator. Oh, no, put it right back. Well, oh, no, he's pulling it back out. Oh, I think he's just teasing us. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I really would like to see an op on this map. But I would not like to see an op on a Sova. That would be an interesting. <laughs> <laughs> How, however, speaking of ops, I'm really surprised neither team that actually picks that. Chamber here. That is true. Chamber is extremely strong on Vine. Yeah, it's, Chamber's just strong. Period. Really, and not seeing them from either team is interesting. I think Cipher and KJ are fine on this map. And yet again, they do. Uh, Cipher does the exact same thing. And well, they now have full Hookah control. Oh, I've got an ult from Garden. Oh, Cypher's <laughs> dodging. Uh, Cypher was dodging for his life, just couldn't. <laughs> but that's what I mean by maybe remaining. trying to have a little variation in where you put your players. Because you know, South Alabama was just able to coordinate that race game. And that's so cool. Spike planted. There's not exactly. many other places you can go. Uh, Viper, I will say this you cannot indeed shoot the fade tether. That is something you cannot do. And looks like we're gonna go into defense, zero to twelve, USA. So now I'm thinking, hey, <laughs> how do they come back from this? Yep, you ready for our side? I I really hope so. I you, hope to see you it. Because you can't you can't <laughs> lose. You can't lose a single round. I'm kind of nasty on the T side, well. Let's no, hope. I, I believe in them. Tell yeah. Them we have the uh, the other team actually coming in very positive and very nice. I actually like to see that. It's really good sportsmanship. Woody and seven from speed. 13-4 Mando, 11-1 11 11 nerve. 11-1 nerve. Jeez. Oh, and Karomi's doing their work too. They've got the really entirety of flank on the lockdown. They've had their mollies on bomb, just securing every single round. Oh yeah, every oh, yeah. single person on this team has done what they're supposed to do. Oh, that's bad. That's bad coming from uh, the Rays. And USA Speed's gonna go Gary. down. Speed just got caught out with that eye. So far, it looks like their T side is a little bit better. However, this Molly is gonna. Looks like Viper's gonna take a little. Not Viper. Cypher's gonna take a little bit of damage from the uh, the trade there. Mando's nice like little trade. I wonder if he's gonna run into this other Viper. Oh. Oh, Oops. there it is. Oh, Mando! Oh, almost missed Ooh. it. He almost actually, he almost died there. And this situation has now turned into a 2v3. 2v3. And it looks like, um, they weren't just talking crap. However, Phoenix with one <laughs> HP is going to go down here, most likely. Unless he's going to pick off Mando. Mando's going to be put to 33 HP. Looks like Reyna has full control of B-side, though. Where are you? I wonder if they'll call for that rotate. And they, they do. Will. Yep. After you hear that TP, these two should immediately be rotating towards there. Phoenix little stole the reflexes, left. however. Let's see if he can win. And he gets out alive at 1 HP yet again. I mean, that Phoenix is putting in work, though. Look how long they've held South Alabama on that A site. Oh, yeah. To get the plant down. So that means USA is going to have to speed up a little bit. And he picks up a ghost. Or oh, he's just looking at it. Oh, no, he's picked it up. <laughs> 8 HP from Mando. Good pick from Mando. Alright, now it's time for Dylan to clutch up. Dylan just uses oh, oh. And he does it! Look at that! Look at that. Looks like their T side is better than their uh than their uh 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 defense, defense side. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had a brain fart there. I was really surprised. 
Uh, However, they, they have to full buy pretty much that's every a, single round. In the and future. Odin coming out from the fade, but with no shields. No armor. I feel like I feel like Reyna could. Oh well. I'm Two Odin. Four to buy with a no shield. Spectre, but I kind of no like that from the um. I kind of like that from the uh uh uh, uh Reyna though. Because all she, has to, all she has to do is just get one kill and she basically has full shields. But it looks like they're all going to push. And they're just going to mow oh. them down. Okay, but not a bad idea. It's a good read from South Alabama being able to get two of those guns off of them immediately. Yeah. And one of them being they were Odin. So that's going to really hurt lose an Odin. Oh, Defenders win. looks like a surrender. <laughs> Ida. A surrender came out. So that will be the first that's... match towards South Alabama. I think that's actually the first time I've ever seen that before. I think but yeah, that's that the first is... time I've seen that as well. I, I don't think I've ever seen a surrender happen in a in a game like this. However, it's really good. We love to see it. First game for South, two to twelve, and uh, looks like uh, USA did a fantastic job seeing how uh, their almost their entire team is in the top five. I mean, I feel like they they did generally pretty well across the board. And, I mean, you have some great players from Brescia coming through, but, I mean, just the coordination that South Alabama had, you could tell that their comms were just nonstop the entire time, trying no to play off of each other. I mean, it, once it comes down to just getting double swung, there's not much you can do. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, they're actually leaving. Are they just... They do. They have might be switching out players. They might be switching out players. Because you usually do see that, because uh, the other four are still staying. I'm really interested for this next map on Breeze. I want to see what kind of team comps we'll be able to see. Oh yeah, I uh, I highly expect a chamber as always. Mm -hmm. I always see chambers on Breeze, and I also I also expect to see uh, USA Speed pull out a pull out a jet if they do play it. However, it looks like USA is also switching out teams. We have USA Nerve and Dini on the observers, and Dini's going to be playing in on Breeze. Oh, here we go. We here get to we see go. some USA Dini. Said no, we're um, having too much fun. We gotta bring Dini in to have just yeah, as much. Yeah, yeah, most likely. Uh, project, like also project being coming into in. the play. When I'm also, I'm excited to hopefully see Mando on a Viper on Breeze. I know for Breeze, it's a very, very heavily Viper centered map, but I haven't seen Mando play any Breeze since last season. Um, I'll say this just from personal things. However. Mando's Breeze has been, um, he's been unlucky on Breeze recently, mainly because it's either A, people insta-lock Viper, so he can't mm. play Viper, or B, his teammates just leave. It's literally been yeah. one or the other. I've been watching it. So actually seeing him play in an actual competitive match on Breeze would be actually a, a fresh relief and a fresh uh, change to happen. And I know it's something that... Uh... The previous teams with him have had a lot of conversations with. I'm unsure if this fall semester you guys have created any specific strats for Breeze, but I'm sure something has to be in the works. So for Breeze, yeah, uh, they have actually. Um, however, this is actually their first time playing Breeze mm -hmm. in a competitive sense. We they've only ever like come up with strats and stuff like that and be like, oh, we can maybe do this, maybe we can maybe do that. Um, but we they never practiced it really. They only just threw up ideas and, well, thought it would work. So, kind of interesting to see it because I did talk to Davis about this, which is USA Speed and the team captain. He doesn't really like Breeze that much, which is kind of interesting coming from a jet main and a chamber main. Usually, this is their map. <laughs> Breeze but, is their playground. But I don't know. He just doesn't like it. Uh, however, I will say this to all the people watching. Never expect a Pearl map. Pearl's mm -hmm. never going to be played through um, for USA. Davis, USA Speed himself, has said he will ban it first every time. Every time. So it looks like the game's over. Looks like they're leaving. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. Uh, Don't worry, Michael's on the case. Yeah, it looks like Michael's <laughs> going to get it on for us. But uh, uh, I. Will. Looks like it's well, over. Looks like USA wins the uh, we FF game. Looks like they FF both games. So, I mean, that's a two way early season. Yeah, that's in South uh, Alabama. We take that for the first win. 
Um, <laughs> wow, I I've never seen or heard of that happening. But I mean, it is what it is. And GGs to everyone around. Yeah. And thank you to Brushing University for volunteering your time and your players to play against ours. We appreciate it very greatly. Oh, one hundred percent. I hope this was a learning experience on both sides. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. This was just a, uh... Yeah, now now we do our interview yeah, time. <laughs> I, I'm kind of curious to who we bring in, really. I want to bring in speed. However, I also mm -hmm. kind of want to bring in uh, nerve. And here's why. It's not only because he went like 13 and 1 or 11 and 1, something like that. But yeah. it's also because everybody on the USA team has played with each other before in a competitive yeah. sense. He hasn't. He is brand mm -hmm. new to he's it, the and new he's one. instantly put on a starting team. So we want Project. We can't interview Project. Project we, didn't play. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't interview Project. I, I wish we could, but uh, <laughs> I don't think we can really. So, um, but no. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting game. I feel like it showed a lot. It kind of showed South Alabama strengths on this map and. It did show their weaknesses in their defending side too, especially on pistol round. We saw a yeah. very, very quick shutdown. Oh yeah, by Russia. Oh yeah, they really picked up the pace and just decided to not play around. As obvious as it seems, that was the main thing that probably made them one. Really, is that yeah. they just never let up. They didn't really give them a. They didn't let them catch a break ever. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think personally, I think that we should bring in. Nerf or Connor, uh, not Connor, Connor in Connor. here. Let's see what uh, see what he had to think about the game. That's what I think. Of course, we can always get somebody else. There's no issue with it, but that's just my opinion. I really like to see what he has to think about this whole little situation and how the game went mm -hmm. and what was going on in his mind and his uh, actually first competitive match. Small message. Yeah, well, uh, they'll be in the NECC Discord for a little bit, so we'll have to wait just a second for an interview time. But I mean, I'll ask if Nerve or Connor are ready to take an interview. I know Davis is ready, but well, Davis just is depends who like it. Davis is always Davis ready. Is always He's here ready for, for an interview. Okay. All right. <laughs> Monsters we've become.
Look at the monsters we've become. Look at the monsters we've become. And welcome back to the stream. So we have Davis Gafford here, who is uh, USA Speed. He's our Valorant captain right now. And I just wanted to ask you what you thought about how today's game went. Um... You know, it's uh, it's it's a good day anytime we win, but at the same time, you know, we uh, we don't feel like we should be really in this division. I think tonight mm -hmm. maybe kind of shows it. But uh, regardless, you know, I'm proud of how we played. We uh, we really were trying to harp on timing and and how we would execute each site and make sure that everybody's kind of going out at the same time. And and so I feel like we did a really good job at at syncing up. Um, and, and communicating whenever we were all going out and exploding on the site. So, mm -hmm. oh, for sure, one hundred percent. Also, something that uh that we actually noticed uh is that you weren't playing jet or a chamber. You were actually yeah. on phase. Yeah. 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 So what's up yeah. about that? Um, we uh you know we all agreed over the summer that uh jet wasn't as versatile on bind as raise. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I took one for the team and <laughs> I uh, I decided to learn some raise and and I do I will say. On bind, she's a lot of fun. She's yeah. a lot of fun. So uh, when I'm playing her well, at least. Mm -hmm. When I'm not, oh, I'm in the dumps. Oh, yeah. That can definitely like, go with Ray's. I feel like you guys played today very analytical, though. Like, I could yeah. definitely see that you guys were communicating very well and timing things yeah. together and swinging together. And it was it was just, it very much so seemed on the screen to be a hive mind. You guys were all on the same yeah. page. You were coordinated together. And I mean... Anytime you would target someone, you had a teammate right behind you to back you up and to trade you out. And I think that's where we see a lot of the difference between skill of the two teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, one of the things that we've been harping on is uh, is always being tradable. Um, mm -hmm. So when you know, when we execute sites, we want to do it in pairs. Um, being the duelist, I kind of get to be the lone wolf. Mm -hmm. and, and I expect not to be tradable whenever I'm executing a site, but that's my job. You mm -hmm. know, it's to create the space for my team to follow up and, and be able to, to survive. So um, I was very proud whenever I would, I would watch and I'd see people doubling up on angles or, um, you know, just the, the no silence whatsoever, which is really, really good. It makes me very, very happy. Um, everybody's communicating very well. Uh, the rotates were, were one of the, for me, one of the key points, um, being able to assess there was three people on one site. Um, if we got down a man, we made sure we, we baited out a lot of utility and then rotated. So, I mean, I was very, very proud of, uh, of how well we, we were coordinating. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And, uh, seeing as how, um, how well of a match this was for you guys, do you think your future opponents are actually going to band bind so you can't play it? <laughs> um, you know, 
I hope they don't, but if they do, we uh, we got a pretty strong arsenal um, up our sleeve, especially with uh, with our with our bench being really really deep. Um, you know, we have Bryson, who's a phenomenal uh, Valorant player. Uh, you, you guys you guys can expect to see a lot of uh, Jet Chambers on uh, on our comps, um, mm-hmm. and you know we have Dini, who's a very very outspoken, talkative. You know, gets everybody in the right mindset, happy. Mm-hmm. So, and he's also an, an incredibly good gamer. So, we're, uh, <laughs> we're 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 set through and through. So, any map we go to, we uh, except for Pearl. That's one map. <laughs> no, yeah, Pearl. I, I, I we, said uh, that we will actually. will not play Pearl. I said that no. during the uh, the game actually that mm-hmm. uh, you always planned on a uh, banning Pearl. May I ask why that is actually? That map is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, I, I've heard from a lot of people it's bad. Personally, I don't mind mm-hmm. it, but I, I understand that everybody hates their maps. Yeah. So yeah. what do you expect to see in the future with this team? Uh, you know, I, I expect great things. If we remain in this division, um, then, you know, I, I don't expect to drop a map. Um, I, I fully intend on us going 16-0 and 0, uh, throughout the rest of the season. Um you know, we're, we're really going to start working on our icebox. We have a couple of different uh, strategies that we're going to implement on icebox and some comps that we're excited to, to run. So hopefully we'll be able to play them a little bit next week. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. We're, uh, we're really going to, you know, start harping on maybe some breeze and maybe get mm-hmm. some, uh, some of the aim app, the aim maps down and see what we can do. So I'm excited to see, uh, to see what we can show you guys. I love to see it. That's actually so <laughs> refreshing that it's uh, yeah. all, all these maps actually that you usually see banned that you're actually saying that uh you guys wanting to play like uh yeah. Breeze yeah. is usually a pretty popular band. So is Icebox on ironically. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's really nice to see that these maps that people don't really like to play that you guys plan on playing them. Yeah. yeah. And then I did I did want to bring up an interesting point. I really enjoyed you guys kind of shifting away from the double duelist meta that we've been seeing yeah. a lot we knew that uh they run double duelist today they have the reina and the phoenix but you guys ran double initiator is that something you yeah. guys are steering away from across all maps kind of going towards the double initiator do you have some maps that are double sentinel kind of what's the play for there um you know we, we're, we're definitely uh not going to be implementing any double duelists uh mm-hmm. you you just you forfeit so much utility um yeah that, that can be used for the team um and the double initiator is just the meta right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and on some maps, you know, we're, we're even toying with the option of, of not playing a duelist at all mm-hmm. uh, and either running a double sentinel and double initiator or even triple initiator. So oh. we, uh, we're, we're definitely aiming at, at really structured and team-based uh, compositions for our, mm-hmm. uh, for our agents. Oh, that sounds actually pretty, uh, pretty nice, pretty exciting, actually. Not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> I like to see it. I like to hear it. Uh, especially with you guys focusing so much on your execution strats. And I know that you guys yeah. run a lot of those in practice and things like that. So, I mean, to see a triple initiator comp from you guys, that yeah. that would be a game that I make sure that I'm yeah. for. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't, cannot wait to see that. I'll I'll be casting it for sure. And I'll be, <laughs> uh, I'll be watching you guys do it all. So, mm-hmm. yeah. can't wait to see it's, that. It's going to be fun. Hopefully we can, get it, we can show you guys next week. So. Well, yeah. Hell yeah, I love to see it. Cannot wait. Well, uh, do you have any more questions, Bree? I think I'm kind of nope, out. That's all. I think I got a good idea and a good picture from Davis. Cannot wait right. to see what this team has coming in the future. Uh, Davis, thank you for joining us for this interview, actually. It was thank you very really much. nice talking Absolutely. to you. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, yes, that's sir. Good. Anytime. And thank you to everybody who was watching the stream today. It didn't exactly go how we planned, but we're still very happy for South Alabama being able to pull up a 2 0, the first game of the season. And I think they're very promising. I'm really excited to see what they do next week. Especially if they stay in this division that they're in. I agree with Davis. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do not think they dev- the, they belong in the division that they're in. I think they should be yeah. placed up one higher. And uh, maybe NECC has a reason for that. Or maybe it was just a little mistake. People make mistakes, and we mm-hmm. accept those. So I really can't wait to see what, uh, what happens in the next game. Yeah, but I guess we'll know next week. Yeah, I guess we'll know next week. I guess that's <laughs> the best that we can do. All right, well. GG's to everyone GG's to everyone. That, <laughs> that's it for us. Uh, I guess we'll talk to you guys later. All right. Have a good Monday, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you.